This video is super important for me to make. I just found out that you can get access to search generative experience using a VPN. So I'm using a VPN called TunnelBear and all you have to do is go to the United States using TunnelBear and then go on Google and type in search generative experience labs and then scroll down and go to Google Labs, labs.google slash SGE and then at the top right press get started and you should already be logged into your Google Chrome account so you should have access now to SGE and I'm really really worried about this and I wanted to make this video to show you why so just imagine I am someone who for the first time I want to go mountain biking and I want to know what the best mountain bike brand is now right now if you go on Google and type in um, yeah, what is the best mountain bike brand I'm also on SGE, SGE here but let's just pretend that I don't have SGE on so you can see this is probably a niche affiliate website right here best mountain bikes of 2023 this will be another one 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 so you can see this is currently a really really good way to make money okay you, all you have to do right now is beat Google Ads and maybe a featured snippet but in general, Google doesn't have a featured snippet for something like this because it doesn't it doesn't want to be biased. It can't be biased, actually, if you think about it. It legally can't be biased. So the, so the problem right now for Google is it can't give suggestions. So it has to rely on kind of spammy websites because a lot of these people, I'm not, nothing against the, these website owners right here. I'm not speaking specifically about any of these website owners, but... In general, some of these are going to be people who have never even touched the bikes, okay? So you've got to take that into account and see that from Google's eyes. They did try and fix this with an update, uh, with the Google review update. But again, that probably wasn't that effective and there probably will be a load of people making these kind of videos who have never ridden the bike. And that is something they tried to combat a few times with reviews. They started putting uh, YouTube videos in. Um, they tried to make it so they only used legit people who had like legit unique content or unique photos, but people found a way around that as well. And you can see, generally speaking, all of these are going to be niche affiliate websites and they're going to be making pretty good money, especially if they're at the very top of Google. However, this is why I'm worried. And I know you're going to say, look, they have these here. This will be a niche affiliate website. This is still, you know, a good way to make money and that's fine. But I personally think that Google has never liked niche affiliate websites. And you can kind of see that in this update. That it's almost like they're targeting them. So this is actually new. This wasn't here the other day when I did this, this little bit here. So it is good to see. And I don't think it's all completely lost, okay? But the problem I want to show you is right here. Now, just look at it from the perspective of a consumer, okay? What would you rather do? Read a 3,000 word SEO'd and biased article okay or would you rather read a summary of every article and see genuinely what the best is it's obvious okay I mean it's a bit of a leading question with the way that I, fa I phrase this but just think about it logically would you rather read a 300 word 3000 word article that just takes forever and was written purely for SEO purposes? Or would you rather read a summary of all the articles together and for AI, which is always not biased, give you the answer in, you know, in seconds, okay? So this can be something that could normally take you hours and hours of research. Now, I'm not saying people are just gonna go and just buy this, but this is kind of a really, really good way to do it, if you think about it, because it's just, it's just a summary and maybe these bikes are the ones that are mentioned a lot, whatever it might be. It seems like they really like Rocky Mountain. Uh, <laughs> kind of <laughs> seems a little unfair to just put like millions of the same brand there, but okay. The problem I want to talk about is if I open this, okay, this is not going to be an affiliate link. Can you just take me to the store, please? Okay, this is <laughs> They need to fix this. Hello, I want to buy this bike, please. Okay, there we go. So they, they need to fix this. I don't really like how this is. But um, if you click here, 
Let's see. Yeah, so you can see at the top here, it, this is kind of complicated if you don't know much about this kind of stuff, but you can say it says source UTM source equals Google shopping, UTM equals medium organic. And then these numbers at the end. Now, there's a chance that these are some kind of niche, uh, some, time, some kind of affiliate link, but like, I'm just, I don't think they are. And I think this is just a direct link to the website without there being any kind of affiliate link. They do all have this kind of number at the bottom. This one doesn't actually. Yeah, these aren't these aren't affiliate links. It's really, really obvious normally when it's an affiliate link, but you can open all of these one by one. You can test this out for yourselves. This is 100% not an affiliate link, okay? So basically what they're doing is they're removing the middleman. And you can't really blame Google for this because... I mean, a lot of us, especially with the kind of introduction of generative AI like ChatGPT, Claude, Vicuna, whatever, there's a lot of people who are just producing content based on uh, AI. So you can kind of see why Google is saying, well, why don't we just produce a summary of this information instead of, you know, giving people content that is maybe not as good as it could be why don't we just summarize that content and just cut out the middleman and everyone's better off except the website owners and like i said at the beginning or near the beginning of this video i don't think they've ever liked niche affiliate websites i think they've had something against them for a long time now a couple of things when you click this it will take you to a uh what looks like potentially some affiliate websites which is good. We can definitely take a little bit of solace from that, a little bit of happiness. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it's going to be an affiliate website, let's be honest. But, I, you know, I'm just, I just need to make this video, okay, because I'm worried. I just told people to make a niche affiliate website. And you can still make money from it. I'm sure this will not completely destroy um, anyone's website. But I am worried about people's income because... If it's going to take people straight to the products like this, and I think they need to improve this a little bit if this is their goal, but you click the product here, it brings it up here. There's no affiliate website and there's no ad revenue for the website owner. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, what about Google's ad revenue? They're shooting themselves in the foot, but they're, they're probably going to start putting ads here. Right, So they're not really shooting themselves in the foot. And they're not really going to lose that much ad revenue, to be honest with you. So it's just something to think about, something to consider. E-commerce is going to get a big boost from this, actually. So let me just show you an example of that. How, no, why is Kiton so expensive? Now, I'm really, really happy with this update. I'm not going to lie. So first of all, we already have the featured snippet, which is beautiful. And then if we click here... First of all, we're being used as a source from Google, so this might be a backlink, I don't know. I don't think it's a backlink, but it might be, it might help with authority in, in some case. And then let's see, let's see if any of these are um, iSuit. No, 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 and no. Any of these iSuit? Yep, right here. So this is probably gonna help us, to be honest with you. Um, but again, now it's not taking us to straight to the content or straight to the products. This follow-up thing is really, really nice. I really, really like this. But it also means that people are less likely to go on people's websites. So j just, just think about it for yourselves. Think about whether you would rather read a 3,000-page article that's been made to try and trick you into buying something or read a summary generated by an unbiased AI where you don't have to click on anything or use any outside sources whatsoever. It's just... It's all of the outside sources put together into one readable format. And it answers the question perfectly. And yeah, it, that, that's, that's it. I'm worried. I wanted to make this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.